Hello again, a new lesson, uh, walk-in and hover turns. So in the previous lesson, uh, we landed a helicopter and I briefly mentioned uh, walking the helicopter. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a specific lesson on how to manage your helicopter when uh, you are at the airport and in the ground. So um, walk-in and hover turns. Uh, as you know, especially uh, using full realism setting, you have a lot of torque in the helicopter and you have to use your pedals to control uh, the torque of the main rotor using your tail rotor compensation. And this will also lead to a slight um, uh, movement to the left for this helicopter due to your tail rotor pushing air in the, in the, uh, to compensate uh, for the main rotor. Uh, so once we get into a hover, we want to be able to walk the helicopter around the airport as if it was an airplane, so as if it was uh, on wheels and respecting lanes and everything. We, since I don't want to do a very long demonstration here, I'll just cross to uh, the main airfield, and, but I'll show you the concept of uh, walking. Okay, let me quickly take off. I suggest you look at my cyclic and pedals uh, values um, in the LNFS windows. That's uh, the one, two, three, four, fifth and sixth values. And you'll see how I manage it. So as I start my uh, lifting up my collective, I will, okay, the helicopter tells me, hey, I want to turn to the right and I want to slide to the left. So turn to the left and slide to the left, sorry. So I'll just Put it in a hover and I want to be approximately here. You have some ground effect going on so the helicopter will stabilize at a certain height. Then oh, let me just walk my helicopter. Uh, you're, you don't have you know an airspeed indicator at those speeds so you'll just have to uh, look by you know whatever you feel which is a walking speed. Find the proper walking speed Gonna just walk in between this aircraft and this. Uh, I don't know. It's an electrical thing. I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too fast, or I'll start lifting. You, you remember? So uh, just keep it like there, and I'm using my pedals and not really touching my collective. Once I found my my position, uh, if you go too fast, you'll have to start fiddling with your collective a lot, which you don't want to do. Okay. Uh, Okay, now I'm, yeah, I'm touching my collective, uh, but that's actually, it's a very delicate movement. And unfortunately, I have a regular spring joystick and the collective is very small. Uh, if we have a better rig, you'll probably be able to control more of your helicopter. So this is walking the helicopter. You just go at this space and, uh, and you can basically go to in any direction just using your your pedals and cyclic a little bit. So if I let go my pedals, I'll turn left. And so this is a left turn. I want to align myself here. So this is what I will do. Let me do it actually on the airfield so it's uh, clear. Okay. I'm really careful in not, you know, taking speed and you control that with your cyclic, you know, just moving your helicopter attitude left and right, uh, forward and back in order not to gain speed. So uh, I, I might want to walk it around this lane, just keep it there, take my, uh, you know, find a proper speed and stay there. Okay, now I'm going too fast. And sometimes you do that when you have some maneuvers at the airport, you say, okay, just go a little quicker but you don't want to go over let's say 20 knots you see it starts climbing already because i went too fast so in this case i'll lower my collective so so you see what happens when you do mistake i lower my collective now i'm a little bit too high my instructor won't be happy i'll just go down a little bit because i want it to be lower and as i go down i get some ground effect and i have to correct my uh, collective until i find another stable position say here okay and uh, so one, two things, uh, when I turn 
uh, to the left, like this, okay? In fact, I am uh, taking out a little bit of power from the, the helicopter and the pedals, okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of stable. Uh, if you look at the power required, which is one of the lines at the bottom, uh, my power required reduced a little bit. On the contrary, when I go to the right, my power required will increase uh, because of uh, more, uh, it's not really visible at this speed, I should probably spin a little bit more. You see, uh, it's uh, the fourth line, fifth line from the bottom, and it's up to 27 something, okay? now. Uh, I'm also moving around, so it's not really visible. But the thing is, I, I would need more power, and uh, this will, uh, in fact, impact uh, my my collective. Where I go, when I go in the other direction, my power. You see, it's twenty five. Uh, so you'll have a tendency. Just ignore what I did because I just flew around a little bit. Uh, you'll have a tendency to drop when you turn to the right in this helicopter and to lift but it's minimal when you turn to the left uh, on a regular helicopter it would be the contrary so so that i would say concludes the the lesson uh, about uh, hover turns and walking the helicopter thank you very much